This one is a bit of a doozy. Um, as you guys know, um, or most of you know, I am born and raised here in Florida. I love this state. I love most of the things about this state. I don't like how many people are moving here, but I understand why they want to live here. Um, and one thing that I cannot understand and has rubs me wrong for a very, and most of the people I know for a very long time is the FWC, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Now, there are good people in FWC. I'm not trashing FWC as a whole. I am trashing a lot of the people who are in it and the decisions they make because oftentimes they are terrible. And one of the worst has been with this, the reptile situation. Um, yes, there are invasive species here in Florida. Yes, the Burmese python is a problem that should be dealt with. But does that mean that you should make people overnight criminals because they own snakes or tegus or whatever else it may be? It's a bit ridiculous. And the only reason that you care so much about that stuff is because it either not only affects tourism, but it, you can say that it's, it's blown out of proportion to give Florida a bad name, in my opinion. Um, not everything, but a good portion of it. You know, um, you know, it's some of the way the rules and regulations they come out with um, don't make much sense to me. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the fact that there was a raid on um, a man's property and 34 of his pet, um, well, it's a complicated situation. So let me just start off by reading the article. Um... So, according to U.S. ARC, FWC law enforcers killed 29 reticulated pythons and 5 Burmese pythons owned by Chris Coffey. Coffey, on a prior order from the FWC, was forced to keep the snakes in captivity for over a year after a deadline set by the FWC passed and Coffey was not able to rehome the reptiles. So, when they passed this legislation, basically says you cannot keep any of these prohibited species. Otherwise, like, I mean, it's 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 a big deal people are like getting in serious trouble for owning these animals like it's not good um the reptiles in coffee's possession were illegally kept uh, were legally kept as he had a conditional species permit that was given to him by the fwc prior to the prohib prohibited species rule enacted in 2021 that rule should have exempted his reptiles as he had all the permits to keep the snakes prior to the new rule so basically it's almost like it was almost like a grandfathered in type thing because he had them and he was able to get these permits i believe you can still get these permits but it's very difficult i i'm not 100 percent sure on that i don't have anything that would require me to get anything i don't like, I have a rat snake, and that's that's the extent of the reptiles I have, because Florida is so freaking nuts right now with this stuff. The association said Coffee uh, notified FWC about a year ago that he had not yet rehomed the reptiles. He was uh, working to find homes for them in short time. The FWC allotted and asked for an extension. The FWC responded by raiding his facility and charging him with 72 criminal charges. Uh, two of each, or two for each reticulated and Burmese python in his possession, according to U.S. ARC. Um, Coffee was told by FWC that he could not rehome or euthanize the reptiles, or he would face arrest. Wait, that he could not rehome or euthanize, so he couldn't do it. They had to do it, and uh, if they if he did it, then he would face arrest. Um, look at that man smiling, right there. That's a that's a happy man right there. He 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 got that. He got that retake. That's right. He killed that snake. Oh, what's that right there? That doesn't look like a reticulated python. What is that right there? I think that's a boa. To be quite honest, it could be a retake. I can't really see it. It's kind of blurry right here. I feel dumb. Burmese python. Wait. FWC officer poses for a picture with a freshly killed captive bred Burmese python named Sweetie before the snake's carcass was unceremoniously thrown into a trash can. Who's grin? Okay. Um, the snakes were housed at the facility of Bill McAdam uh, with the knowledge of the uh, of the FWC for a year until April 7th, 2023, when FWC officers Lex Cortiguero Jonathan Wright, Zach Beppel, and Christopher Ryan arrived at the facility, um, alleging that they had received a report of an escaped reticulate python in the area. 
Coffee apparently let the FW, uh, FWC officers into the facility, where they then proceeded to remove the snakes from their closures and killed them all. So it sounds like FWC is like the new ATF. I it's it sounds like uh some it's like almost like a red flag log like I heard that he he was saying all sorts of bad things and I'm scared because he has guns so you need to go over there and make sure that everything's okay it's like oh we heard there was an escaped illegal animal here can we come in oh no we're gonna come in and we're gonna kill all your animals he already they already knew what the goal was they knew what the goal was we're not stupid penetrating captive uh bolt gun shot to the head so captive bolt gun so basically they use uh a gun i mean this this article definitely does blow up the drama but um they used uh, a nail gun basically and right into the back of the snake's head and killed them all um and long story short they killed a snake that they were not supposed to they killed a very legal red tail boa and that boa had, at least in the video that I saw, um, the guy was claiming that it was $100,000 worth of babies in this boa. Uh, boas give live birth. And yeah, it must have been uh, Pregos. This is... I don't really know what to think about the situation. Am I going to blow it out of proportion and be like, oh my god, these guys are terror fascists? But no, that's dumb. I don't think they're fascists. I think that people have no regard for reptiles like they just don't care because it's a reptile if this was a cat or a dog situation this would be national news like you would hear all about this and again i don't want to seem dramatic but like the it's it's literally like the atf being like oh i hear you got a bump stock okay well like hey we're gonna put these laws into effect and um if you know the, the the supreme court's gonna knock it down but because we put these laws in effect we you know technically you don't know if you're gonna get arrested or not so you might as well do it and so it's not a hundred percent like that but basically they just make these sweeping new legislative moves without really giving a crap about what people have to say and then all of a sudden overnight you're a criminal like, that's pretty much what happened. And these people had these animals for a very long time. Um, you know, I know people who, I knew people who had to get rid of a lot of pets. A lot of, um, you know, a lot of people who had business around those reptiles are now gone. And the worst part of this situation is, yes, is it mostly in the Everglades? Absolutely. But it's not all of Florida. They make it seem like it's the entire state of Florida. And they act like reptiles are going to kill everything yet they still allowed pesticides to be sprayed in all the lakes that kill gators and all sorts of animals that are partially responsible for all the red tide outbreaks we're having yet they claim that it's not it's none of it makes any sense and this infuriates me just based on everything that has been going on over the past couple of years and how little people actually care Yet, you know, we we still have people who have outside cats and no one cares. I know I keep on bringing up cats, but, like, that's a big deal. That's something that could easily save billions of animals a year if we tried to curb that situation. You know, bring your cats inside. But, no, that isn't what's being pushed. Making sure Python Roundup happens. And, you know, like, it's it's it feels like it's all money-making. It feels like it's nothing but a pl publicity stunt, all of it. And then they make themselves look dumb because they don't even know what snake they're looking at. Like, if you work for FWC and you're supposed to be in charge of these animals, in this situation, these officers were in charge of taking care of this situation regardless of what they thought about it. They should know what they're killing. They should know what they're looking at. I can't really make it out. It looks kind of like a bow and a retic at the same time. But if I was there and looking straight down at it, I could tell you what a boa looks like or what a retic looks like. But you're an officer in charge of enforcing and in this situation, like you came over with the equipment to kill these animals. You knew that's what you were there for. There wasn't an escape retic. You knew that you had like you had enough 
of, I don't know how this gun thing works, but 39 animals, you had enough to kill all 39 of those. That's not one escaped pet. You knew what was going to happen. And I, I don't have any belief that anything is actually going to come of this. This, this is the way it's going. This is the way it's going to, and it's going to get a lot worse. But I like to have pets. Absolutely. I got into the reptile world at the wrong time for pets here in Florida. And I mean, that being said, like, I don't have anything anymore because of that. I stopped, I stopped having reptiles as pets, except for my rat snake, you know, and soon enough, <laughs> well, are we going to go the way of Georgia and be like, no, no native stuff either. Like I, it doesn't make any sense. Um, let me know what you think down below. Um, if you, uh, are an FWC guy or an FWC officer, I would love to talk to you. And get maybe interview, like get a, a read on what you guys think about the situation. Um, because the, this is looking bad on, like you're not bringing people over to your side with this. This is making things a lot worse. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully, uh, 